Writing Nix code can be tough. With all those functions and expressions you have to know, no wonder many people get lost and come to our server for advice. And while that is great, and I highly encourage you to do so when you need help, you know what's even harder? Trying to find an error in an unformatted file that looks something like this. And so in this video, I'll show you how to set up your favorite text editor to work with Nix code, allowing you to catch simple errors by yourself, automatically format your code to make it easy to read, get some of that fancy auto-completion for package and option names, even including custom options, and display package versions as inlay hints, which is just incredibly cool. So without further ado, let's get straight to configuration. Starting with formatting, because to format your code, you don't even need any code editor. And while over the years, the Nix ecosystem saw many different formatters come and go, today there are basically three formatters that you need to know about. With the first one, Nix Packages FMT being the official formatter required to be used for any code contributed to Nix Packages as of today. The second one, Nix FMT being the first formatter to implement the new official style that will be adopted by Nix Packages soon, hopefully. And the third one, Alejandra, being a very fast and reliable alternative that focuses on making code easy to read and diff and is generally very good for your personal Nix projects. All of them are available in Nix packages under the names you see on the screen and can be installed by simply adding them to your system packages or temporarily grabbed in a Nix shell. Then to format your code with any of these, simply run the respective command with a path to a Nix file or a directory containing Nix files as an argument and that's pretty much it. Your code will get formatted according to the style of the formatter you choose. I have compiled a simple example with a file formatted with all three, and personally, Alejandra's style seems the easiest one to read for me, but let me know which one you prefer in the comment section. Well, that was easy, but now let's actually talk about the code editors. Because as most of you may already know, all good modern code editors implement something called LSP, or the Language Server Protocol, which allows them to communicate with programs called language servers to provide you with auto-completion, code actions, syntax highlighting, and more language-specific features. And the best part is, since most language servers are completely separate from the code editors, the choice of the specific code editor is entirely up to you. But the language server I highly recommend you try out for Nix is called NixD because initially I planned to showcase both it and another great language server called NilLS. However, after seeing how much NixD has improved in just a couple of months, I realized there's next to no reason not to use it. And so now, let me show you how to set it up for several of the most popular code editors. But before you do, make sure to actually install it, as it is readily available straight in Nix packages, so add it to your system packages or grab it in a Nix shell. Afterwards, if you are using Nixflakes, the setup page of Nixd suggests you to add this line somewhere in your configuration.nix. It ensures that the Nix packages path aligns with the Nix packages input of your flake, meaning this angle bracket syntax will reference the actual Nix packages you use for your system. Just don't forget to receive the inputs in your parameter set at the top and pass it to your modules in the flake. You will see why we need this step later in the video, but depending on your setup, you can also choose another input and a name here, skip this step, or if you are not using Nixflakes, you can ignore it altogether. And now, let's move to the actual editor setup, starting with a basic setup for NeoVim. And so what we need to do first is ensure that your NeoVim is set up to work with language servers. There are many videos and written resources about it on the internet, I even got one on my channel, but if you've ever done any development in NeoVim, you likely already have everything you need. Otherwise, Google NeoVim LSP tutorial or something along the lines. Afterwards, all we have to do is call the setup function for NixD provided by the almighty LSP config plugin, and you'll find this code snippet in the link in the description. That is pretty much it, we will talk about the settings listed here later towards the end of this video, but even right now, you can already open one of your Nix files and enjoy the premium Nix code editing experience. Next comes the setup for the very popular VS code editor, and here everything is even simpler. As all we have to do is install the Nix IDE extension in the extensions tab, and then open your settings.json file and fill it with the content you see on the screen. Once again, we will talk more about the settings later towards the end of this video, and you'll find this code snippet in the link in the description. But until then, you can already restart your editor and check out some of the features. 
And finally, I also wanted to show you how to set it up on Emacs, but please forgive me for I have no idea how to actually use Emacs, so all I can say is that it probably works judging by this page I unearthed on LSP Mode's GitHub issues, so I'll try to remember to leave some links for y'all Emacs bros in the link in the description. And now, let's finally talk about the settings of NixD. Starting with the formatter setting. Here, you can select any of the formatters I mentioned in the beginning of the video by simply assigning this setting to one of the executable names. The formatting will of course happen with your editor's format key, be it the key you assign to Vim buffer format in NeoVim, Ctrl Shift I for VS Code, or the alternative in other editors. Next, the Nix packages option you see here provides you with completions for packages and those fancy package version inlay hints, and as you can see, the expression option in my case is assigned to import Nix packages using the angle bracket syntax, meaning Nixd will create an instance of Nix packages found in Nix path under the name of Nix packages and take the packages from it. So if you completed that Nix path step from earlier or are not using flakes, you can leave it as is. But being an actual expression, you can also assign this setting to literally any other real piece of Nix code like in this other example, where Nix packages is imported from the inputs of a specific flake using the built-ins .getflake function. Next, let's talk about the settings found under the option set, and this one is actually really cool, because what it does is allow us to get completions for any options created with Nix packages option system. Meaning here, you can write any Nix code that will evaluate to some options, and then get some fancy completions for these options names, types, and descriptions. And the coolest thing, this will allow you to autocomplete all your custom options and the options that come from the modules you import, which is just unbelievable. So now, let's try to assign the expression of the Nixos option set to this getflake example. Don't forget to change this path right here to wherever your flake is located, which can be any valid string in the flake URL syntax, be it some path on your system, a GitHub URL, or even some expression that constructs a URL. Next, make sure to select the options of your NixOS system, and the logic here is exactly the same as you have it in your flake.nix, so type NixOS configurations dot your system name dot options. And afterwards, you can open any of your Nix modules with your code editor, and just look at this. This is just next level Nixing right here. Custom options, option descriptions, really useful. And like I've said, this can also be done for anything else that supports the Nix packages option system, so here's another example that evaluates options from a standalone home manager configuration, meaning you can play around with these and come up with even more clever expressions and use cases. And talking about clever use cases, what if I told you that I've just found another one for your free time, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant is an incredible interactive learning platform featuring lessons in many different technical fields from math and engineering to our favorite computer science. And what sets Brilliant apart is its unique approach to teaching, because each lesson is presented in these beautifully designed hands-on tutorials that are not only memorable, but are also extremely fun to play around with. And given that Brilliant even comes in the form of a mobile app, you can basically get a quick lesson anywhere you are in just 15 minutes, go about the rest of your day, and then over time see some great results. As Brilliant will help you build a habit of learning bit by bit every day, so you develop that real scientific thinking also needed in this day and age. So do not hesitate and start your 30-day free trial now at brilliant.org slash or by scanning the QR code on the screen, and enjoy a 20% discount on an annual Brilliant Premium subscription. And now, I'd like to thank all the amazing people that support the channel and keep it going, especially all of our great monthly members, your support is invaluable. Recording voiceover once again took much longer than I hoped it would, so you can probably hear my voice deteriorate throughout the video. If only I could record 10 minutes of video in 10 minutes and not 10 hours. Also, you've probably noticed that I didn't use the character much this time, but it doesn't mean that I'm completely scrapping the idea, I just simply need some more time to rethink it, cause I feel like it didn't quite work in the last video. Anyway, once again, massive thanks to all the supporters, and as always, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.